It looks like you're attending school seriously. Hi, McCurter. You also seem pretty close with Takamaki-san if you're both coming to school together. You just transferred here, though. I guess you two really click. I see. You seemed a lot closer than that yesterday morning. I heard she was a victim of Mr. Kamoshida. But was that all there was to it? Either way, closer inspection should clear everything up. Goodbye. Hey, Ribbon Go is in the background. Is she always there? I hadn't noticed. <laughs> Exam start tomorrow. Are you all well, ready? Shall we begin? From last time, the end of the high end period marks the rise of the samurai, which I'm sure you've all been waiting for. As described in the tale of the hey, whatever that word is, it was a time when all was great and when all that was great would fall from grace. It wasn't unusual for the heroes of yesterday to be struck down as rebels of the present day. By the way, sympathizing with the loser of the week was called magistrate patronage. Chan came from Min Minamoto no Yoshitsune's position. It also became a way of referring to him as well. Alright. Do you know the answer? You know the time period Yoshitsune was active in, don't you? Trying to remember what I was just told. It's gonna be this one, right? You this mentioned it. it. Correct. He supported his brother Yoritomo during the High End period, but despite his contributions in defeating the Tyra, Ta Tyra, he was driven out by his brother and ultimately executed. However, in the centuries that followed, Yoshitsune became more popular as a tragic hero. Oh, I just kind of listen to the guy. Because he mentioned the high end period. Rather than siding with the one who is overwhelming power, people prefer the underdog opposing them. Sort of like rooting for a minor league baseball team instead of an all star major league one. Yep. You can understand that. It's like if I don't root for them, then who will? Confident in your exemption, you should live in the day up and head to Momento, so it'd be nice if we could get some info on our targets before we went there. Oh, hang on. Hang on. It's just the things that have been running through my head lately. It's like I can't really collect my thoughts on my own. It would be super helpful if someone around would listen to me. Your time. No. Oh, I was gonna go study. Study. I was gonna go to the library. Good damn it, on. Damn it, on. Hey, on. Hmm. I felt like someone was watching me this morning. What should I do? Maybe it wouldn't hurt to at least ask. No, but then. Lady Ann seems depressed. Oh, uh, never mind. It's nothing. Should be able to invite her out with my current kindness. I'm fine, seriously. Besides, I wouldn't want to trouble you. Tell me about your problems. Are you sure? You're so reliable. I guess it wouldn't be so bad talking to you about this stuff. I feel like I can become closer with Ann thanks to the lovers persona I can tell. Yeah, let's hang. Thanks! Well, I'm gonna walk around. Let me know when you're ready to leave. No, Morgana. Um. Hey, um, there's something I want to talk to you about. It's Shiho. Well, I went to visit her in the hospital. She said she was sorry. Sorry for not telling me about Kamoshida, about all the things he was doing to her. But it was my fault too. I didn't realize how much trouble she was in. I wasn't there for her. So I apologized as well. Mm-hmm. I finally got to tell her everything I couldn't bring myself to say before. 
okay. And, um, remember how Kamashida threatened to take Shiho off, ho off the team if I didn't sleep with him? I had only agreed to it so that I wouldn't ruin, ruin Shiho's dreams, but now that I think about it, he never would have put her on the bench and cost his team games. I seriously should have dared him to try and take it starting spot, but in the end, maybe I just didn't believe in her ability. But... It might have been true, but honestly, I think it was all because of how weak I am. That's why I believe Kamashita's authority outweighed Shiho's own ability to earn her starting spot. Um... Do you remember the last time I talked to you like this? When I got the phone call from Kamashita and cried. I felt so alone, scared even. But because you were there for me, I decided not to go. I was a little surprised at how pushy you were about it. But I see now that you just wanted Thanks. to help. You're so kind. Back then, people used to call me all sorts of names. Prissy bitch, Kamashita's girl. I got tired of it pretty quickly. But to tell you the truth, someday I want to be able to take labels like that in stride. Hey! Hey, um, personas are the power of the heart, right? That means my heart gets stronger, my persona will too. So, I want to strengthen my heart. I want to use that strength to help the people around me. I hope we can save people from trouble, just like we did when we changed Kamashita's heart. Hmm. Though, honestly, I don't even know what strong is. But I'm gonna find the answer, I promise. Really? Thanks! Thanks, I feel like I'm a little stronger already. I guess that doesn't really count though, huh? <laughs> well, I'll be relying on you. Let's train together and make our hearts super strong. Rank up. Thanks. Oh, get you back. All right. <sighs> strong heart. Hmm. Oh yeah! How about this? I won't get any refills on drink fountain drinks. I mean, they're free, so not getting any would mean you have a strong heart. Uh -huh. Is that not right? Bye! Well, see you later. I was gonna go to the library. Hey on. Hey, it's me. Thanks for listening to what I had to say earlier. Now that I feel like I have a better idea of who I want to be, also I'm going to think about how I can strengthen my heart. If I think of anything, I'll let you know. I hope you join me again next time. <laughs> I want to do the last one. Thanks, you're such a nice guy. Oh, how about you help me come up with ways to train my heart? Just let me know if, when a really good idea hits you, okay? Bye! Bye! Ah, you're back. I report as your... Oh, God damn it, Mishima. Just thought of a new way to help you out. <laughs> I was gonna study. <laughs> You mention it. Oh, I forgot to mention. But all thieves are just supposed to have some special ladies, right? What? It's too late to cancel, though. I already confirmed with them. Actually. Basically, I met some cool girls on the fan site and I thought it'd be fun to do an in-person meetup. Oh, that reminds me, they think we're just part of the fandom. I made up this whole story about how we stumbled onto the fan site one day, so let's stick to that. Don't spill the beans, okay? Well, I want to. But not everyone is good as keeping secret I am. So let's err uh, on the side of caution here. Um. Iway, you should be excited about this. Mingling with your loyal supporters is a noble cause indeed. Plus, remember how I said I'd help publicize the fan Phantom Thieves? This is just the beginning. 
Jesus, Miss Shima. <sighs> Though to be honest, I've never actually met someone from online in person. I wonder if I'll be able to do it right. I did all sorts of re research though. I know all about footing the bill and buying desserts for the girl. Apparently if things go well, you might even get to take her home. Jesus, Mishima. Hmm? It's way past our meeting time. Uh, hello, it's it's the guy you met on the fan site about our meetup. <gasps> You're still at home, and what about your friend? No, um, uh, no we'll be waiting here. Wait, was that the train announcement? I could swear I just heard someone say Shibuya over the loudspeaker. Are you close by? But no, I'm not calling you a liar. Y yes. Maybe next time. So both of them apparently got sick. They're just gonna go home. <laughs> it seemed like they were really into the idea on the forum. <laughs> oh well, my bad. Mishima, I was gonna study. I have exams. I was so busy with all the new forum posts, I didn't have much time to really vet them too much. No, no. Don't worry, I'm not. This was just a learning experience. All right. But all this aside, I have some really good info ready for you guys. I won't let you down. I'm. I'll prove just how useful I can be to the Phantom Thieves. Oh. Yes! Alright. Wasn't supposed to turn out like this though. I bet those girls would never have flaked on me if they knew I'm friends with the real live phantom boots. <sighs> Being a guardian of the justice isn't so easy, huh? God damn it, Mishima. Let's I was go gonna on. study. Oh, ready for, sorry for dragging you out for no reason. People typically use an alias online, so they a lot of them don't hold back when they comment. I thought it would be a good idea, a great opportunity to hear their opinions on the Phantom Thieves. It's always better to hear that kind of stuff in person, right? Yeah, definitely. Man, we could have met some really hot, I mean, uh, gotten some really valuable information. Alright, let's get I'll get back to modding. Trust me, everything's gonna turn out awesome. See ya. Mishima. I was gonna study. Oh, it's raining. I can't believe this. School assembly during exam week? What the hell are they thinking? It's day after tomorrow, right? I wonder if it's gonna be about Kamashita again. I can't believe this school is messing with our schedules like this. I don't care what it's about, it's gonna have nothing to do with us students. I wish they'd stop dragging us into their mess. Seems pretty rough. A mandatory assembly during exam week, huh? Sounds rough for all of you. Well, shall we begin? Now then, let the first day of exams begin. What historical figure inspired the idiom of favoring the magistrate? This guy? This guy. Ooh, we can do this! Hmm. Provide the reason why Minato Mori is a hero. Had a brother, yes. Was. That seems right. And the he did a lot for his brother, but they all ended up coming into conflict and in the end then they had to oppose each other. Your turn by one, yeah. Yoshitsune committed suicide after being exiled by a brother. But even though he lost Yoshitsune, he was the one who went down in history as a hero. It's probably because people tend to sympathize less with figures in power and sympathize more with the weak. No, not just any weak person though. People love rooting for an underdog who stands up to powerful oppressors, and Yoshitsune did that to his brother. So the reason Yoshitsune is treated as a hero is because he stood up against the powerful Yoritomo. Yep. Hey, um, Morgana. We're cheating.
They're like, hey, were you paying attention to, uh... The questions you answered, you know, hours ago? Let's not risk it. Don't trust my internet. I'm doing too much at the moment. Let's get no, started. No, it was a rainy day! What brain function is responsible for the phenomenon of seeing an illusion in this figure? Cognition? Ooh, we can do this! Which of the following maps can you paint without any adjacent areas being the same colour? Both? Ooh, we can do this! God, what a waste. What a waste of a week. Okay, class, let's get started. Name the book that defined Malefactor as the chief factor in the progress of the human race. Digital Devil, sorry! It was the Devil's Dictionary. Ooh, we can do this! Character archetype refers to a mysterious and seductive woman typically with ulterior motive. Femme fatale. Ooh, we can do this! Wide assembly this time of the year, really? Think we can bring our flashcards in? Your camera sheet is just one of the many things wrong with this school. We've got to hurry home and study. That camera sheet is still causing us trouble even when he's gone. Ever since that specific incident, many of you have voiced concerns that I could not bear to ignore. We believe the mental health of our student body is absolutely vital, so we've acquired the services of a therapist. The floor is yours, Doctor. Oh, this is, uh, the new guy. One of the new guys. Isn't he hot? He looks like a schmuck. <clears throat> it's nice to meet you all. Yep, still looks like a schmuck. Whoa, his voice is sexy. Let's put the other headphone in hearing correctly. My name is What? Huh? My name is Takato Maruki. Thank you for welcoming me to your school. <laughs> no need to be formal with me though. I'm just here to counsel anyone who's interested. You can even call me Doc, if that would help you feel more comfortable. Any assistance you need, I'll be... Oh. I guess I'm not really any good for helping with money problems. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Maruki. Yo. Hey, Ryuji. You ever expect this place to actually give a shit about our mental health? Nope. Well, our school's made national news. Maybe they figured they'd look even worse if they didn't do anything for us. And Dr. uh... Dr. what's his name? Maruki. Maruki. Yeah, Tanuki. wasn't that guy just basically clowning it up on stage? Do you really think he'll do us any good? Ryuji! Some hey dude. Sakamoto-kun and Takamaki-san, right? Mm. And that must make you... You look like uh, you're ready to send me on a Pokemon adventure. How do you know our names? Well, I was informed of certain students before beginning my tenure here. Those that had, uh, previous interactions with Mr. Kamoshida. Also, I carry It must have been especially tough for you after having just transferred here. Quite the tough youngster. Just don't overdo it, okay? So, what do you want with us? Ah, yes. I'd forgotten. I know I already offered my services to the student body earlier, but would you three be interested in counseling? Nope, not at all. Huh? 
How's that surprising? You were just a touch more emphatic about it than I'd expected. Ah, but if you come to my office, you can have free snacks. All you can eat would be nice, but there's still plenty to be had. So, how about it? You got ramen? Hey, I don't trust school <laughs> psychologists. You're right. That's a, a real life opinion. To be frank, I've been explicitly ordered so to provide Mariki. counseling to the students directly involved with Mr. Kamoshida. It's in the school's interests. For its students. Ah, the school's interest, huh? I know that asking you to be open with a complete stranger like myself is a lot. Making this mandatory wouldn't do you any good either. Might as well turn it into a worthwhile experience. Ooh, I know. If you attend my counseling sessions, I'll teach you different ways to improve your mental acuity. Like ways to hone your concentration before exams, or not getting nervous on dates. How's that sound? Uh. Hmm. Mental training. I make good use of this. It may aid in our phantom these activities too. There's also snacks. Oh, God damn it. All right, all right. Enough with the snacks. So, which way are you leaning? <sighs> I guess it'd just be more trouble for us if we didn't go. Hmm, yeah. Really? Then, I guess it's a deal. I'll be in the nurse's office. Feel free to come by whenever it's convenient for you. Well, we should get going. Okay, I'll see you later. I don't Thanks know. for taking my counseling into consideration. Now that we have a deal, I promise I'll do my best to help you. I don't want to talk to this guy at all, but I think I need to, like, have a good confidant with him to unlock the third semester. I had a teacher rather me to the school counselor, school psychologist, because I told her I was having issues at high school student could accomplish such grandiose heights. I was made to attend. Uh, sessions during my study periods and that super sucked because it wasn't helpful. She was weirdly caught up on my dad. One would need a heart of steel, unaffected by outside influences, and prepared to act without hesitating. There has to be someone who helps strengthen your mental state. Sound like somebody you know? Give me a name. At the time, I had much I bigger issues than my dad. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the Counselor Persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. All right. So hold up, dude. Sorry for keeping you like this. Well then. This guy's a schmuck and I hate him already. Okay, quiet down. All right, settle down. I have an addendum to the early assembly regarding the counseling you've all been offered. Counsel will be available to you starting after school today in the nurse's office. Mariki will be posted here through November. Be sure to speak with him soon if you feel the need. For the majority of you, it's your choice whether or not you speak to him, but there are a few students I'll speak with later. Excuse me. Schools decided visits to Dr. Mariki will be mandatory for these individuals. Me. God damn it. Here, are you guys going to go for it? What, the counseling? Kind of sounds like we're being forced to. I told Mariki I'd do it. But, I don't know if I'm really into that idea, you know? I don't think we can afford to since the school's got their eye on us. I think I'm gonna try going today. Mm. Counseling, eh? Lady Arn's right. Make sure you visit him so you don't draw any attention to yourself, okay? Damn it. Guess I'll go speak to him. Hello. Yes. Ah. <sighs> 
Welcome. Are you here for a counseling session? I thought it was going to say more. Yeah, it's now a bad time. <laughs> not at all. It's always a good time, so long as I'm not already listening to a student. I'm so glad you're here. Would you care for a snack? A snack? Apple juice. Well, shall, shall we, we begin? Get oh, but first, just relax, alright? I'm only here to listen to whatever you wish to talk about. Yes. Although I really only have one thing on my mind right now, anyway. Hmm. As I say, that makes perfect sense. But don't force yourself into talking with me. You can just grab some snacks and be on your way if you wanted. This guy. No, it's alright. I know I need to talk to someone about this anyway. That is, if you're willing to listen to a super long story. Aunt, um, don't tell him! <sighs> See, that's such a horrible, horrible thing to do to someone. Yes, that's why I wanted to get even with him. For she her. And... <sighs> At first I thought Kamashita ought to face the same fate she her was going to put herself through. But... But? Right. Later I realised that wasn't right. If he did take his own life, it wouldn't undo she her suffering. In fact, it'd just give him the easy way out. Right. Is that so? You know, you're quite a wise, level-headed young woman. On. Oh. Oh, I guess you've... I think you've got that wrong. Nope, in fact, I think you're wiser than I was at your age. I wasn't anywhere near as mature as you are now. It's not like I did anything special, though. If I hadn't gone through with my own... If I hadn't gone through my own share of hell, I don't think I'd be so mature, either. Let's see. So what's on your mind now? Mm, right now... Let me think. Just, just hoping she hope will get better quickly. We both suffered a lot, but I just want to go back to laughing and having fun together like we used to. At this point, I don't give a rat's ass about Kamoshida. Yeah. Now that's a healthy outlook. You can't change the past, but you still want to keep your chin up and press onward. Is that the gist of it? Sounds about right. I mean, it'd definitely be better if none of this had happened at all, but... Quite. I definitely agree with you there. But it's impossible to wipe every tragedy from history. Yeah! If only, right? Everyone would be so much happier if we could actually do that. Oh, it seems I lost track of the time. We should wrap things up here for today. Thank you for coming to see me. Oh no, thank you. I felt a ton better that now that I've gotten all that off my chest. I think Arn Be careful, benefited okay. from therapy. Good to hear. You deserve it. Feel free to stop by again anytime. Okay, I'm gonna get going. Arn had some shit happen. Well, I went in for counselling. You're going soon too, right? It's gonna suck gonna suck more if we start attracting attention for skipping it. I think you should just go and give it a shot. Dr. Maruki's easier to talk to than you think. Okay, see you tomorrow. Hmm. Oh, Ryuji. This one's super special, isn't it? Even anywhere on the forum yet. Anyway, do you remember that uh, Daisuke Takanashi whose heart you changed earlier? Well, it turns out there was someone pulling strings the whole time. Seems like Takanashi didn't have a choice but to listen to what this guy told him to do. But ordering someone to bully other people is a pretty crappy thing to do, isn't it? It's clever. Yeah, but I can't keep, forgive someone that terrible. The school has to be, the person to be somewhere in a school, right? You should go take a look around. In the meantime, I'll see you you do a bit more research here. Hmm. Hey, it's Ribbons. How are you? Hello. Are you here for a session as well? You too, huh? Yes. Yeah. Dr. Maruki is a wonderful counsellor. I've actually been seeing him for a while, before he ever came to shoot. Uh -huh. Oh, I didn't know you two were acquainted. We're not. Don't go overselling me too hard, though, Yoshi's always son. I'm really nothing special. <laughs> well, I need to get going. Please excuse me. Right then. Let's say we get started. No therapy. Welcome. Come on, where are my snacks? <laughs> trying to make sure it's worth the trouble. I see. Thank you. I think I've gotten a good grasp on the situation you're in. Well, full disclosure, the school gave me a brief rundown of the circumstances surrounding your transfer here.
But you went before I take it. Mm -hmm. Try not to push yourself too hard, okay? So... Now that you've told me more about yourself, I think I've realised something. It seems like you've largely been able to reconcile your internal world with your external. You should note that's really, truly impressive. Even most adults can't reliably manage that. How to put it? You know how everyone has an internal reality? Some conception of themselves they're striving for? For example... Like wanting to be a model student, or wanting to be loved and relied on, that kind of thing. But that idealized reality and the one in actuality are often far apart. That gap is responsible for a lot of people's pain. Not everyone can ace their exams, and not everyone can be the heroes they wish they could be. Hmm. You've already been through so much that that kind of suffering is usually enough to twist people up, and dark, up into dark places. But you, you're standing up to it and confronting a tough, painful reality. To me, that's incredibly admirable. Then again, maybe it's a little weird for you to hear that from a guy you just met, huh? Mm-hmm. You can talk louder. Yeah, sure. You okay? You gonna go to bed soon? My doors, my windows open. I am. I am. What? Don't complain to me. You can fail something. I'm not going to fail anything, Mum. Even any deflecting self-deprecation, you really are strong. I'm sorry. Let's see. Sorry this went on longer than I expected. Somehow the conversation just took on the life of its own, I guess. Uh, say. Hey, I've actually got one last request. Do you mind? You know, I... I'm actually doing certain research along with my duties as a counsellor. It's not quite like counselling, more like a kind of psychological treatment. Basically, it's a project to learn more about people's metaphorical hearts, what they think, how they feel. How about it? If I get far enough with it, I think it'll be able to help a lot of people. So... So what? Uh, uh, sorry. I guess my point is, I'd like to ask you to help me with that research. All you have to do is listen to my theories and then tell me if they spark any ideas or realizations on your end. Please, any time's good for me. I can work around your schedule. And uh, I've got a lot of snacks. Yay! You can have them, they're yours. Got this guy. To be honest, sometimes I hit a wall in my research. I've been working on it alone, but some second opinions from a perspective like yours could really push it forward. Oh, and don't worry, I promise I'll repay you for it. Well... With snacks! Let's see, I know, maybe I can teach you some tip tips for mental training? I happen to know a lot on the subject. I'm sure I can cook up a special regimen just for you. If you're dedicated enough, I'm sure you could pull draw out your full potential. Thank you. I guess that's our second deal. I don't like this guy. All right. That's a really good ability, though. God damn it! I hate this guy. I know. All right. Would it be okay? To no. No. That should do it. Stranger no. danger. Now I better do my part to repay you. Let's talk about mental training and presence. Let's see. All right. Oh, okay. God damn it. I don't want to. Oh, and here, never a bad time for a snack, right? Well, see you. No. I don't want to be friends with this guy. Man. You really spent a long time talking to Maruki. Look at how late it is. Well, if you've got session, you think the session is worthwhile, you should try going again Good night. sometime. Get some sleep. Today, tomorrow's the last day of exams, right? Ooh, 
Let's go to bed. God damn it, Morgana. No. No. Morgana. You're the worst. Well then. So sleepy. <sighs> I ended up pulling an all-nighter once I realized today's the last day of exams. Yeah. Staying up studying? Nah, I gave up on the exam. I was playing some games, and then before I knew it, it was morning. <laughs> oh, you, you say that, but you probably just spent the whole night studying. No, right, Morgana wouldn't let me. Uh, the morning. Yo, look who else is yawning. Exams are almost over, so I thought I'd make one last effort across the finish line. Oh, impressive, Lady On. You're quite different from the stupid monkey I know. Huh? Don't give me that crap. Your brain's tiny compared to mine. Size is meaningless if there's nothing inside, you know. What was that? Yeah, if it's completely <sighs> smooth. Will you please shut up? You're gonna make me forget everything I remember. Huh? Am I imagining things? Bella, you okay? Itchy bits. What? You see a groper or something? No, that's not it. It's nothing. And the camera huh? pulls back, and we see you scare. Oh my god, that guy got off. Isn't this bad? <laughs> hey, at least act like you care. <sighs> Fine. Come on. Huh? <sighs> Hey, uh, are you sure it's him, or are you just that self-conscious? I'm not that- Is there something you want? <laughs> That's my line! You are the one stalking me! Stalking you? That's outrageous. I know you've been following me, ever since the train! That's because... <laughs> my goodness! I had wondered why you left the car, so this is where your passion led. All is well that ends well. Oh, I'm gonna say. Oi, oi. I saw you from the car, and I couldn't help myself from chasing after you. I didn't even notice the calls from Sensei, but thank goodness I caught up to you. Okay... What? You're the woman I've been searching for all this time. Please, won't you? W wait a minute, I... Be the model for my next art piece. <laughs> model? All that I've drawn till now has been lacking, but I feel a passion from you unlike anyone else. This man's highly suspicious! Ain't this a recruit for some shady business? Will you cooperate with me? What do you say? <laughs> Whoa, hold your horses! Who are you anyways? Oh, where are my manners? I'm a second year at Kosei High's Fine Arts Division. My name is Yusuke Kitagawa. Oh, Jesus, Yusuke. I'm Madarame-sensei's pupil, and I am being allowed residence at his place. I'm striving to become an artist. 
Huh? Do you mean that, Matarame? The one who was on Good Morning Japan the other day? The very same. You know who that is? He was introduced as a super famous Japanese style artist who's been recognized all over the world. Uh, but we heard that name the other day in Mementos. Yusuke! I'm sorry, Sensei. I'll be right there. That old guy's Matarame? Matarame Sensei's exhibition will begin at the department store near the station tomorrow. I'll be there to help out on opening day. Please come by. It'd be great if you could give me your answer in regard to being a model then. I bet you have no interest in the fine arts, but I'll give you tickets too. Well then, I hope to see you there tomorrow. <laughs> that guy's as easy to read as a book. You're not planning on going, are you? I think I will. Crap, but look at the time. I'll see you later. How dare he go after Lady On? I've memorized that face of yours, Yusuke. You became acquainted with Matarame's pupil by chance? Yeah. That's a little too convenient. It makes me wonder if you're even telling the truth. So be it. What I want to know most is your method. It's true that Matarame was an unforgivable criminal worthy of the scorn thrown at him. He was an adult who cultivated his own fame and fortune by sacrificing the livelihood of children. But he'd been covering his tracks for years. How did you uncover the truth in such a short span of time? This metaverse business again? <sighs> Fine. Let's suppose that people's hearts can be changed by stealing their treasure, like you've said. If so, a different suspicion arises. People have gone mad or lost consciousness never to recover, like the subway accident in April. Depending on how you look at it, that could be taken as a phenomenon for a sudden change of heart, too. Were you related to those as well? Hmm. I see. <clears throat> Fine. Let's get back to Matarame's case. Keep it concise and stick to the facts. Hmm. Today's the last day of exams. Seems like some of these are kind of tough. Yep. Well, it wasn't too bad. You should have gotten a decent score. Score, right? I answered all of them correctly. And my knowledge is okay. Finally done. Are hey, you gonna go in for counselling? I saw the volleyball guys getting called in. Yeah. It's over. <laughs> How about you? Come on, you two need to get your act together. Anyways, can we stop talking about the exams? Like it or not, they're gonna come back rated next week. That's a really good turnaround. Rather than focus on stuff that's over with. What are you looking at? I've had exams or tests. The usual whatever. site. Come back it's like no six use. weeks later. There ain't any useful info. The number of posts are getting less and less, too. I am not letting this end as a one-hit wonder, okay? There's no point in getting antsy, though. I know! Why don't we go eat lunch somewhere? We still have some money left over from the other day. I want sushi, then! Or domestic-raised eel. We don't have that much left. Yeah, I think I spent most of it. <laughs> oh, right! There are those tickets to Matarame's exhibit. Wait, that's tomorrow. Don't tell me. Was it love at first sight with that Yusuke guy? It's 
It's not like that. Oh, of course not. When I was watching that special on TV, his artwork was pretty nice. Plus, we've got free tickets. Besides, this could also be related to what we heard in Mementos. Monorame, was it? Hmm. That aside, what should I do about the other two tickets? Want to go appreciate some fine arts for once? <laughs> Might as well. Fine arts, huh? I suggest we should all go together. Appreciating the fine arts builds character. A phantom thief who can't identify an original is lame. Well, if everyone's going... It's settled, then. It'd be worth it once in a while. Sounds like it'll be useful for phantom thieves, too, you know? It's decided, then. We're going. Odd exhibitions can be blazed Let's meet at the exhibit entrance tomorrow. really quickly. <laughs> You go, you look at everything, you go, hmm, nice. Okay. Tomorrow we go to that exhibit with Lady On. I'm curious to know if this Matarame has anything to do with the name we heard in Mementos. We can't afford to be late. Better not go out right now. So you keep thinking about what Nakanohara said. Could he be really talking about the famous artist Matarame? Seconded. Great, the name really stood out to me. Yeah, I mean, you guys ever heard of someone else called Madarame? It's really not that common. If what we heard is true, Kitagawa Kun is studying under a corrupt teacher. You mean a teacher who treats people like tools? Kitagawa Kun's life is probably pretty terrible. We gotta look into this. Oh! Yes! Damn, they shut off the power. How are we going to rig an alarm now? Whoever said you need electricity to make an alarm? Give me that empty soda can. I'll just tie it to this string. <laughs> hmm. Oh. Hmm. Rank up. Finally. All right. Okay. Well then. <gasps> it's a rainy day. Sees you, so don't stick your head out too much, all right? You came. <laughs> okay, you scared? Um, yeah. You really came. What'd you expect when you left us those tickets? Make sure that you don't get in the way of the other visitors. Come now, I'll show you around. I'd like to speak more about the picture I'd like to draw, too. Well, see you guys later. Will Lady Han be all right? What if he drags her behind some painting and tries something funny? Head down, Morgana. I told you not to come out! Are we really gonna appreciate the fine arts? Can't we just go home? I guess we should do a quick pass through at once. Uh, which way are we supposed to start? Hmm? It's that old man from the other day. We continue to be truly surprised by your imagination. You have such expansive styles. It's hard to believe that it all stems from one person. Where in the world does all your inspiration come from? Well, it is rather difficult to put into words. They naturally well up from within my heart, like bubbles rising one after another in the spring. Naturally, you say? What's important is to distance oneself from worldly desires, such as money and fame. My atelier is a modest shack, but it is more than enough to pursue true beauty. A shack? I 
see. So the act of emptying one's mind gives rise to inner beauty. Still, to think we could hear the word shack coming from the great artist Madarame. You would understand if you saw it. <laughs> Wasn't the word shack something? Madarame-san is actually here? Over there! I'm so glad I came on opening day. Okay, stop pushing. There's way too many people. I'm getting crushed. Anyways, we gotta head for the exit. Don't die on us, all right? I didn't know there were so many types of Japanese art. Usually, one concentrates on their own style. However, Sensei creates all this by himself. He's special. There you are, Yusuke. Sensei! Ah, the girl from yesterday. Are you enjoying the exhibit? I don't know how to put it into words, but it's really amazing. You're sensing something from the artwork. That alone is enough to give us artists satisfaction. I hope this becomes a wonderful piece, Yusuke. Well then, if you'll excuse me... You'd imagine artists would be difficult to approach. But he seems really friendly. Indeed. Oh, this is it! The painting I wanted to see in person! This one? I guess it's the painter's anger? I'm not sure, but I sense this... Strong frustration from it. Yeah, I guess you can relate to that. I think such a cheerful and gentlemanly person could make such a piece. <laughs> Something okay. wrong? Don't mind me. There are better pieces than this one. Come now, this way. lady totally elbowed me but thanks to that I remember now well let me get to it it's about a post online mm -hmm. here look at this why'd you leave without me you got it all wrong we got dragged into this huge crowd and eh, anyways you gotta look at this too this post might be about Madarame. What's it say? A master of the Japanese arts is plagiarizing his pupil's work. Only his public face is shown on TV. Plagiarizing? I didn't think much of it when I first saw it, but hearing Shaq and Madarame triggered it. Why Shaq? His treatment of the pupils who live with him is awful. He teaches nothing and bosses them around. He treats them inhumanely, as if disciplining a dog. Abuse on top of plagiarism, huh? If this is real, it'll be a huge scandal. I wonder if Kitagawa-kun posted this. I mean, he is a pupil of his. Who knows? It's anonymous and all. In that case, it's possible the Madarame we heard about in Mementos is referring to the same one. A man like that doing such a thing? I wonder if we can ask that Shadow from earlier about this. Oh, actually, we just need to talk to him in reality. And how are we gonna go about that? Are we gonna explain it all, starting with Mementos? Besides, if we make a move out in the open, there's the possibility that Madarame will find out. Oh, yeah, right. Hey, what do you think about Madarame? Doesn't he seem suspicious? Yeah. I know, right? This all fits way too well to just be a coincidence. If this post is legit, ain't this the kind of target we've been waiting for? Well, yeah, but is it really true? We should investigate. By the way, what did you do about the whole modeling thing? Kitago Akun gave me his contact info and the address to his sensei's atelier. He's 
said he lives there, right? Perfect timing. Let's try going tomorrow. We're off to Matarame's house right after school. Oh, God damn it, Yusuke. Huh? You want me to model tomorrow? This is too sudden. What? We're just gonna go talk to Kitagawa. Oh, that's what you meant. Okay. In any case, we need to find out if that rumor about Matarame is true. If it is, then it might just be exactly what we needed. Well then. Oh yeah. The gifts and buy the gift one. Hey, hey! Whoa! Jesus. Money is no object. Must be Colombian Narin Narino Narino. Let me explain. The high altitude, rainy climate, and soil of the Colombian mountains creates a strong foundation for their high quality coffee. Narino coffee has a creamy, viscous body that coats the mouth with fruity and nutty flavors. <sighs> Fla flavor profile is bland. I'm working on it. <laughs> Morgana wouldn't let me leave the bloody house. 